Last June, I had breakfast with Ross Golan, who is a BMI writer who lives in LA but spends a lot of time in Nashville. It was really his idea, so me in, in the Nashville office and Barbara Kane in the LA office, along with B.J. Hill at Warner Chapel, put together this writer's retreat. So I said to Jody what we should do is put six pop writers who play instruments, who sing and who write lyrics with six country writers on any given day that can play an instrument and write lyrics and sing. So because of that, we now have six rooms going with different artists and all kinds of different combinations and it's working out almost exactly as planned. By almost, I mean it's working exactly as planned. I always love, um, obviously, being introduced to new co-writers that I hadn't had access to before. And I always learn something. When we talk about the structure of a song and, and composing, uh, we, we think a little differently, so I always learn a, a new little bag of tricks. All the LA writers are staying at the Inn at Fontenelle, which is a beautiful, kind of small boutique hotel. They've got a chef cooking them breakfast every morning. And then all the writers meet up at the mansion, the Nashville writers and the LA writers, and they write here. We needed a place that uh, could create a community for the writers that were going to be there all week. Also that was uh, big enough and suitable to have five rights going on at the same time without there being any interference. And the Barbara Mangel Mansion had all these great rooms in it uh, where each of the rights could happen. One of my favorite parts of the writer retreat was uh, writing with Bonnie McKee. She just taught me a lot of stuff. I was such, it was such a neat thing to be taught something new and from an LA writer it was like a new level like stuff I hadn't really genuinely hadn't thought of in regarding songwriting. I love writing with country writers because it's more like a real job. In LA, in the pop world, it's kind of like the Wild West where anything goes and people don't always show up on time or show up at all. So it's nice that people show up on time. It's like they clock in like a nine to five, like they take it very seriously and they have it down to a science and I really respect that. One of the best things is when you can really sit down with a group of people and even an artist and feel like, you know, we're all writing our song together. It's not like we're sitting here and writing your song for you, you know. Just a good feeling when everyone takes ownership of it together. I do find that that's how it feels out here in Nashville a lot, so super awesome. BMI has been like a family to me from the beginning. They helped me out when I needed it, they believed in me when nobody else did, and they've taken me all over the world. I'm really excited to hear all the songs at the end of the week. Being on the business side, I don't get to sit in the room, so we've been listening through the door a little bit, but from what everyone's been saying and what we've been hearing, I think we've got some really good songs. Nashville and LA are two very different cultures and different communities. So I feel when you bring writers together with a different background and different skill sets and a different approach to how they write music, it creates a whole new sound. Warner Chapel and BMI really worked hard to make sure everyone is having a complete experience and they've treated all the writers with such incredible respect. I'm proud of, of being a part of the creation of this and, and I'm happy that everyone took it seriously and is putting in their best effort. So I gotta thank BMI and they did it. So go BMI. A special thanks to our sponsor, City National Bank, for helping make the Fontenelle Winter Retreat possible.